didn't even think twice about it. I didn't even think twice. I don't even think twice. Don't even think twice about it. Yeah, but maybe you should have thought twice maybe about it. Maybe I don't need to think twice about it. I think you do. You know, twice is... Uh, twice you know, is nice. No. Well, I sacked the pawn. Yeah. And it was bad. No, it was good. It was bad. Sack was good. Very bad. Very bad sack. Kidding me? Are you trying to be uh, clairvoyant? You. I know, but I'm playing anyway. Wait a minute. Let me go up. Let me just attack because that's what I'm known for. Yeah, sure. I am. Yeah. Yeah. You play like me, actually. You know that? Really? That bad? Ba I not mean, bad. Bad. that's <laughs> right. He admitted it. I don't admit it. Not bad. Look, I've seen fire and I've seen rain. <laughs> he said it. This is not bad. <laughs> I'm with this. Is me. <laughs> I know, I know. When I get done with him, he's going to wish he'd never been born. <laughs> that is his, you know, he's getting married to that too. What is this? That's this. That isn't that. You know what this is. That isn't that. You know what this is, but That isn't what that is. No, I won't, I won't succumb to that sagacity. You won't? No. Thank you. Alex. Uh, I get mixed over here. Play, play, Jay, play, Jay. Play, Jay. Hold on. You guys love me. What? Okay. I'm sorry. I can't. Well, we, we tried that already. So what was that? That was, uh, you know. What did that do? It did things. Like what? It did stuff. How long has it been? It seems like, you know, guys, I'm going to book stuff like that, so sorry. But he's good, though. You should say that. Just throw everything at you. What do you got? I got you. You got nothing. Don't I have a piece? No. Don't I have a piece? No, you don't. Don't I have a piece? You don't have a piece. I got a piece. No, no piece to you. I got <coughs> no piece to I got you, buddy. pieces, baby. You got nothing. I got pieces. You got a blunder. I got a piece. <laughs> nice try. I got pieces. Oh, you want to play like this, huh? What? I got to play like this. Come on. Shit. Come you got on. Piss, Carl. Shit. What, what? You got piss. I got piss? Yeah. Why do I have piss? Are you giving me this? You're giving me this. What did I give you? What are you talking about? I don't know. About? It's like, what are you even talking about? What? What are you. What are I you gave you nothing. So I got this. You got nothing? I got this. You got nothing and plenty of it. I got this and a lot of it. A whole lot Take of it. Take it or leave it. <laughs> Take that right now. It's a big coin. Take it or you leave it. I'm going to take it. Not you. This is a take it or leave it position. I feel like you're not. What do you got? You, schnookums. Oh, boy, it's close. You're lucky. What do you mean I'm lucky? You're I'm skilled. Lucky. I got skills. You're lucky. You're skills? Silly. Really? I mean, it's take it or leave I it. I said it was take it or leave it, so I get up anyway, but... Or do I? I mean, it wasn't a draw, you just take it or leave it. Or do I? What is this? This is a queen move. Do I draw? Not just yet. Oh, I can't do that. You want to draw? I could take and win, actually. Go ahead. I'm just saying. I, I dare could. you. I could. I dare you. But let me let me just go here. Because you're a chicken. Come on, chicky. Chicken. Do you want the flag? Draw? Flag. Oh, what a. What a. I mean, you got to rely on that. Dig doesn't need that. 
That is so wrong. It's, it's about right. Dave, I wouldn't blame you if you went in your car and just went. Oh, uh, I got too greedy. And a textbook. <laughs> Take it Nobody would you. blame you. Oh, I, I wouldn't think less of you. Hey guys, Brent here, and what a beautiful game by Stewart. Man, that was absolutely gorgeous. And for those of you who are wondering what opening Stewart played, that is the King's Gambit, and this was accepted. And um, usually, anytime you play E4, you know the game's not probably not going to end in a draw. It's going to be a knockout, but that's, that's even more so for the King's Gambit. So if you are an attacking player, if you like the white setup in this game, then you should definitely... Um, look into the King's Gambit and um, oh the checkmate at the end that was uh, happens to us all Kai happens to us all man but that was pretty sweet here and yeah it's kind of a cool way to force your uh, opponent to checkmate yourself and we're gonna go over in the analysis um, where it all kind of went downhill for black and how black could kind of mitigate it and also we're gonna go over a missed mate in four as well as how Kai could have maybe survived this position and um, instead of kind of taking the bishop we'll discuss what he could have done there And but a really really fun game by these two men that was a really really nice uh, checkmate at the end a very unique and always looking for those type of um, games to show you guys so hope you enjoyed it let me know what you guys thought of the game in the comments below if you've been enjoying the channel you want to help support it you want to help make chess mainstream again can become a patron man get access to a ton of cool stuff um, the Grumpy Grandpa series, man, that guy is the most savage trash talker ever on the channel, probably in the history of chess. <laughs> he claims he beat uh, Gary Kasparov when I played him, so definitely watch the series of that. Um, I was able to play the uh, star of Fear the Walking Dead, the Meg Training Day. I think his name is Cliff Curtis, so uh, if you guys are Hollywood fans of him, uh, the game is there too. We've got interviews, Q&As, a lot more. Definitely check it out. Link is in the video description. really helps support the channel. And uh, check out the Amazon links to the uh, merch, Amazon links to chess gear you see in the video, and merch links for shirts and cups are there as well. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss future videos. All right, so where did it all go wrong for Black? Let's go here in this position, and um, this is crucial because this is move six, and in the game B6 was played. And I say this is crucial because after this move, it, White had the advantage till the end of the game. So. In the game B6, let's play. Let's go move back. Pause the video. Will be another move for Black here. All right. Anytime um, you play an attacking player, and especially if you're Black, one rule of thumb is to castle as soon as possible, man. Because the longer you leave your king in the middle of the board, the more you're susceptible to to attacks. So. Um, instead of b6, one idea you can play is knight f6, getting ready to castle. But I know what you guys are thinking. Can't the white just kick the knight with e5? Okay, so let's see what happens. Where does the knight go? Um, let's say knight h5. Now what would you play as white here? Remember, you're an attacking player as white. You're playing the king's gambit, so you got to go all out. Alright, you play knight g5. Ganging up on this pawn. Is it a free knight? Well, bishop takes. And now would he play as white? Yes, queen takes. And um, white is threatening here again. So now you can castle and it's defended. And you can kind of breathe a sigh of relief here. And um, this might be one continuation. And the game has white slightly better at point three. So... Um, but let's go a little bit later on in the game and here in this position h4 was played let's go move back finish this game off as white all right take a sip out of your gm coffee chest mug if you have one and you will find the answer i guarantee it <laughs> all right if you guys saw bishop d3 congrats that is the move threatening mate i mean not much black can do at this point throw in a check Make some room for the king, but that knight, yes, is going to um, guard that f f7 square twice. So you have the mate there. So nice mate in four there. And last but not least, how does white uh, instead of taking this, which led to forced mate? Let's go move back. Pause the video. Will be another move for black here. Yes, black can 
force trade off the queens here and um, this could be one continuation and the game is still better for white at wow 5.1 that's that's pretty good man and but at least black has surviving chances here so that would have been one way to uh, play that position but but really really fun game man yeah I highly recommend if you're an attacking player if you like just a sack sack mate then definitely check out the king's gambit line and um, you will have a ton of fun for it all right hope you enjoyed it let me know what you guys thought of the game in the comments below don't forget to like share comment and subscribe with that bell notification and thanks i'll see you guys tomorrow